Hey Ron, I just wanted to do a quick video about the resilience of workforces with obviously all of the things that is going on in the world at the moment. Over the last uh, couple of days, we've had to mobilise 1,600 staff across four offices, particularly in the Philippines where the majority of our team are, to a work from home environment. Now, I won't lie, there's been many, many challenges with that. Um, in the first 24 hours of us doing that, um, our whole leadership and executive team probably averaged about two hours each for, the, for 24 hours of sleep. So it um, wasn't particularly the best night for sleep, but it really shows you the resilience of a workforce and particularly the resilience of a country. Um, we know that you know when things happen like that, it's not always easy and how people deal with it is probably the true indicator of a lot of values and beliefs that they have. Some people um, easily just lose it um, and they can't understand the decisions being made, they can't understand what's happening or why it's happening and they just look at it from their own point of view as opposed to looking at it from the greater good of everyone and what's happening around them. So you see other people that are completely bought in, they completely understand the situation, they're sympathetic, they're willing to help, they're willing to lend a hand to people that they don't even know or they're not even um, associated with. So to all of our clients and team, I can personally say thank you so much for all of your help in enabling us in a very short amount of time to be operational from a work from home environment. We know that it was challenging at times, but we got there in the end and, and we're, we're running as normal, which is, is brilliant. To all of our wonderful clients who have supported their team members and us through that journey, um, you've been nothing short of amazing. We know that it's challenging for your business as well as you enact that locally to be able to go to a work from home environment and continuing to maintain your culture and spirit. One thing that I would ask for anyone, whether you're a client of Tara or not, is to continue to make sure that you reach out to people during these times. Working from home is isolating, um, particularly if you're not used to it. I've, I've had that luxury over the years to work from home when I need to. I much prefer the office environment. That's just the environment that I much prefer. So reach out to people, make sure you're connecting, make sure that you're still involved in the industry, make certain that you're communicating extra with your clients. Your clients are gonna need you more now than ever. So please be proactive, get on the phones, just reach out to them and say, hi, how are you? How are things going? We don't know what's gonna happen over the next six months, but what I do know is for great businesses, this is a real opportunity to grow during these times. We know that a lot of businesses will struggle. A lot of businesses are gonna have significant downturns, but as an accounting industry, we are there to help and aid our clients get through these tough times and ultimately, the real good firms and the real good businesses will flourish and grow because of that. They will attract clients where other firms and businesses are losing them because of the way that they're providing potentially not the greatest of experiences or service to their to their customers. So to all of our Filipino teams, um, I, I sincerely appreciate everything you've done um, for these changing um, environments that we're going through. To all of our clients, we're here to support you and help you during these times. So please reach out. And for anyone listening to this, if you need someone to talk to, if you just wanna have a general chat about what's going on with your business, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm always willing to chat to people and learn more. And you know, this event, oh, this um, video is not sponsored by Zero. I just love wearing this shirt every week. It's one of my favorites. So to everyone, keep communicating, keep present, be there for our clients. These are challenging times, but times where we can flourish and really grow the relationships that we wanna grow um, with our clients. So thank you all for your support and, and I look forward to continuing to serve you.